Guys, obviously the interview is all about what happened to these young boys. That's the question everyone wants to know the answer to. Well, in this interview where John Skelton gets very emotional from his jail cell, he says those boys are alive. Why do you think they've switched this to a murder investigation? What do you think leads them to believe that your kids are dead? Because nobody uh, collaborate uh, CNN. There's no pictures of these people. We covered our text too well. John Skelton, the father of the three missing Morenci boys, reaches out to Action News from his jail cell. Skelton has uttered only a few words in public. That is, until now. I'm probably the only one here volunteering to be in jail. Are your kids alive, or, or I mean, is that is that what you're saying by that you're volunteering? Skelton has been sitting behind bars since shortly after Thanksgiving. He was the last one to see the boys, Andrew, Alexander, and Tanner, alive. John says he did not hurt his sons. Do you know where the kids are? Um, no, unfortunately, that. Uh... Uh, that that uh, has, has escaped me as well. Skelton claims he gave his kids over to an organization called Underground Sanctuaries. But Morency police say Skelton is lying and that they are now officially calling this case a murder investigation. John says his wife, Tanya Skelton, should not yeah, believe yeah. police. We've known each other for 10 years. And in my 10 years, she knows, she knows me pretty well. And she knows, knows her gut feeling, not what people are telling her. What do you think her gut feeling is right now? She's not thinking for herself. She's not letting other people think for her. This last weekend, our mutual friends said that uh, she still loved me. As for motive and all of this, John claims Tanya was abusing the boys. The boys told me that Tanya was, they quoted, sex in them. Uh, which tried to confirm with Tanya, you know, but Tanya wouldn't have anything to do with me. She uh, wouldn't talk to me about it or anything. And uh, alienated me and started just started uh, alienating the kids from me and stuff. And uh, I have to go with, you know, I don't think my kids would lie to me. Police have made it clear they don't believe Tanya abused the boys in any way, and her family has denied John's claims as well. Do you miss your kids? Well, I'm in Turkey. I, I played with them every, almost every single day, that, well, every single day that I was home, and I talked to them every single day. Uh, I'm just making them pay for you. We reached out to Tanya Skelton tonight for comment on this interview. She did not call us back, but again, she is not being investigated in any way for any wrongdoing in this case. Do you so know there. whether he has talked to Tanya yet? Well, he, he says he wants to talk to Tanya. He says he would like a visit from her. He wants a call from her, but she has not reached out to him. And as we were talking about during the piece, it seems very bizarre. Wait, one, on one hand, he's accusing her of abusing the kids, and on the other hand, he's saying that other people are telling him that he was a great husband to her and that she's acknowledged that so it's this weird love hate thing going on here I'm not a psychotherapist but it's a very interesting dynamic going on between these uh, two people well he reached out to you yeah we, we know we did write him a letter and uh, he, he did call us it was uh, it was a bit of a surprise <laughs> to imagine now the question is why Skelton reached out now is anybody's guess but he could be putting his own defense at risk by talking to us about this well Channel 7 legal analyst Tom Kramer listened to the interview and told us about the potential impact there isn't anything necessarily that's all that damning, but it's very unclear, I think, from his statements as to what's happened to the children, and it wouldn't surprise me at all if he's given conflicting statements to law enforcement, and the fact that he's given conflicting statements might be something that could be used against him. By the way, you can listen to the entire 20-minute exclusive interview with John Skelton right now at WXYZ.com. All you have to do is log on and click on the home page and follow the directions to listen to the interview with Mr. Skelton.